what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Happening as we speak in both L.A. and Miami Beach at the homes of Sean Diddy Combs, you know. There was nothing subtle when federal agents conducted high-profile raids at two large properties in Los Angeles and Miami, owned by music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Raids that tonight his attorney calls a gross overuse of military-level force. Why a simultaneous cross-country search? Oh, I think they wanted this to be a bit of a surprise. It's a big raid. And what they were going in was to try to find all types of evidence. There that this is a raid being conducted by Homeland Security and that the warrant specifically came out of the Southern District of New York. Now, we believe this is tied to sex trafficking allegations. There's an investigation into claims that he may have been, that the rapper may have been involved in this. So we believe this is connected to that. And we don't know exactly what they are looking for. It could be something as small as a USB drive or it could be several boxes of documents. This this could take several hours considering that these are two separate homes in two different locations and we're still trying to figure out where exactly P. Diddy is located. No one has been able to confirm that at this hour. The allegations against Sean Diddy Combs on Monday, the Department of Homeland Security, their agents raided his Los Angeles and Miami homes. Those searches were part of a federal warrant. Into we're watching this closely and it's still developing. The music mogul now speaking out, calling the raid a gross overuse of military military force. On Monday, Homeland Security agents lined up around the block of his Homely Hills home near Beverly Hills, California, and they moved in. At the same time, federal agents raided his home in Miami. Today, we're learning a number of items were seized from those homes, including cell phones. The raids were part of an investigation after two lawsuits were filed in New York. However, the man accused of being Diddy's drug mule in the lawsuit was also arrested, Brendan Paul. Paul, pictured here in his mugshot, 25-year-old basketball player from Ohio who is an amateur music producer. He was arrested attempting to board Diddy's private plane, we're told. He has since bailed out. Are two distinct images of Combs, the iconic performer and the one named in multiple lawsuits accused. Last December, Combs posted a statement saying, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. The lawsuits so far have been in civil court. As for the latest searches... If it can easily go from a civil investigation to what we see now, a criminal investigation. TMZ published video, it says, was after the raids began. It showed Combs walking around Opelaka Airport near Miami. A short time later, at the same airport, Miami-Dade police arrested Brendan Paul for drug possession. Paul was described in a previous lawsuit as Diddy's mule, someone used to get drugs and guns. So what Sean Combs needs to do is follow his lawyer's advice, which undoubtedly is not to talk to people, not try to hinder the investigation, and not try to flee. You see here that there was no detention, right? He has no limit on his ability to move about. He didn't have to cancel his vacation. He was permitted to continue doing what it is that he wanted to, right? And while everybody's wondering, oh, is he still here? Is he still, is, has he gone on his vacation to the Caribbean? The point is that this is all investigatory. He asked his attorney, hey, they're you know raiding my house. Do I still go on my vacation? That there was a real conversation there, right? Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to look like you're fleeing anything. But also, if this is a fishing expedition, if this is just a follow up on the lawsuits that have been filed and they're trying to see, you know, law enforcement is trying to see what is and isn't true, then you don't want to give it any credence by changing your plans, by making it more than it is. So currently, they don't have anything beyond just the, the cause that they need to get a warrant.